In today's lecture, we will see solved question in spanning tree protocol. Let's dive into the question directly. The question is, consider the diagram shown below where a number of LANs are connected by transparent bridges. In order to avoid packets looping through circuits in the graph, the bridges organize themselves in a spanning tree. First, the root bridge is identified as the bridge with the least serial number. Next, the root sends out one or more data units to enable the setting up of the spanning tree of the shortest paths from the root bridge to each bridge. Each bridge identifies a port, that is the root port, through which it will forward the frames to the root bridge. And port conflicts are always resolved in favor of the port with the lower index value. When there is a possibility of multiple bridges forwarding to the same LAN, but not through the root port, Ties are broken as follows. Bridges closest to the root get preference and between such bridges, the one with the lowest serial number is preferred. Wow, such a big question. And this question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2006. Let's see the diagram. Where B represents the bridges and H represents the hosts. B1, B2, B3, B4, B5 are interconnected with each other so that there is a loop in the network. There is redundancy in the network, but obviously there is a loop in the network and unfortunately this loop can take the entire network down. Now what we are required to find? We are required to find for the given connection of LANs by bridges, which one of the following choice represents the depth first traversal of the spanning tree of bridges. And options are given. Option A, B1, B5, B3, B4, B2. Option B, B1, B3, B5, B2, B4. Option C, B1, B5, B2, B3, B4. And option D, B1, B3, B4, B5, B2. Now if you are watching this lecture directly without watching my previous lecture titled Spanning Tree Protocol, I request you to watch the previous lecture first and then come to this problem so that you will have a better understanding. Now what we are required to find? We are required to find the depth first traversal of the spanning tree. But what is given? This is not a spanning tree because there are loops, there are cycles. A spanning tree is a tree which does not have cycle. So there will not be a loop. So we are required to convert this into the spanning tree and then we are required to find the depth first traversal of the spanning tree. Now what is given? In the question, it is given that the bridges organize themselves in a spanning tree. So how these bridges organize themselves? Because these bridges have the potential of spanning tree protocol. What spanning tree protocol will do? We have already seen in the previous lecture that a root bridge is selected and this root bridge will be the center of the network and all switches will reach the root bridge in order to reach its destination. So the ports that are used for forwarding the data to the root bridge are called as the root port. Per link only one root port will be there. And we have already seen all these details in the previous lecture. Now which will be the root bridge? The idea is given. The root bridge is identified as the bridge with the least serial number. In this case we have B1, B2, B3, B4 and B5. And obviously B1 is going to be the root bridge because this is having the least serial number. Now if B3 is connected to B1, it can take this way that is port number 3 to reach B1 as well as port number 4 to reach this B1 which is preferred and this port conflict is resolved in the favor of the port which has the lower index value. So in this case B3 will be winning this. Why? Because 3 is the lowest number than 4. So the port number 3 is selected. Port number 4 is obviously blocked. Then and when there is a possibility of multiple bridges forwarding to the same LAN but not through the root port ties are broken. So bridges closest to the root gets a preference and between such bridges the one with the lowest serial number is preferred. So I will highlight the important points. The port conflicts are resolved in the favor of the lower index value and the bridges closest to the root gets the preference and between such bridges the one with the lowest serial number is preferred. We have seen this scenario. We know obviously B1 is the root bridge because B1 is the lowest serial number. So B1 wins the race, so B1 becomes the root. Now let's see. So B3 is connected to this local area network as well as through this local area network. So B3 can reach B1 through two ways. Now which is preferred? It is mentioned in the question that when port conflict occurs, the one with the lowest value wins. So here 3 will be the root port because this is the way to reach the root port. And obviously 4 is going to be blocked. Similarly for B5, 
there is a way through 3 to reach B1 and there is a way through 2 that is port number 2 to reach B1 which is preferred. Obviously 2 is going to be preferred and 3 is going to be blocked. In this case, B3 and B5 are close to the root bridge, so no problem in this. So, the port conflicts are resolved with the smaller values. When we talk about B2 and B4, so there is no direct path to reach B1. So, B2 and B4 has to choose either B3 or B5 to reach the bridge B1, which is the root bridge. There is a cycle. There are many ways to reach the root bridge. Now, which route B2 will take? Is it B5 or B3? B2 can reach B3 through port number 1 as well as port number 2. Now here port conflict is resolved with smaller value that is 1. At the same time, B2 will not choose B5. Why? Because B5 is the bigger value, 5 is bigger than 3. So B5 will not be obviously chosen. So the bridge with the biggest number will not be chosen. So in this case, B2 will choose 1 as the root port. B4 can reach B5 as well as B3. So which is chosen? B3 because of smaller value. There are two ways to reach B3. One is via 2 as well as via 1. So via 1 also we have a way to reach B3. So obviously which is chosen? Port number 1 is the root port. Why? Because when compared with 2, 1 is smaller. So here 1 is the root port, here 1 is the root port, here 3 is the root port and here 2 is the root port. And what about this? These two are designated ports. So we know there are three kinds of ports which we have seen in the previous lecture. Root ports, designated ports and blocked ports. So let's see what are the root ports, designated ports and blocked ports. What I represent with blue color, they are root ports. And what I represent with red, they are blocked ports and green represents designated ports. Let me explain only one. So here B3 can reach B1 through port number 3. And it will not choose port number 1 because when it goes to port number 1 and when it goes to B5 and when it goes through B5 to B1, this will not happen because these bridges are close to each other. So in this case, port number 3 only will be taken, not port number 1. So port number 3 is going to be the root port because this is the port which is used to take to the root bridge and the opposite side, that is this, will be the designated port. Per link, one root port and one designated port. You can apply this for all the ports. Now when we construct the spanning tree, B1 is connected to B5 here in the left hand side and in the right hand side B3. And B4 and B2 are not connected to B5 because B5 is a bigger value. So they are connected to B3. So B3 contains B4 as the left child and B2 as the right child. I will show you the tree now. So this is the tree where B1 is the root bridge. B1's left hand side that is the left child is B5. And B1's right will be B3 that is this. And B4 and B2 are connected to B3 not with B5. Now we got the spanning tree. Now when we apply the depth first traversal, we will get the answer for this question. How to apply the depth first traversal? You would have studied this in the data structures. So first we have to start with the root, then go depth. I will go with the left hand side that is B5. Then no depth is there. So we will come back and again visit the next node and then go to the depth and come back and we will visit the next node. So let's take this graph separately and solve it. And we already know that B4 and B2 are connected to B3 not B5. Because B3 has lower serial number than B5 and the depth first traversal will be B1. First B1 is visited, then B5 is visited, then no more depth in the B5. So it going back to B1, it is already visited, then coming to B3, then B4, then B2. So the answer is B1, B5, B3, B4 and B2. And is there any options like that? Yes, it is option A which is B1, B5, B3, B4, B2. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the lecture and thank you for watching.